it has been a true pleasure to watch your distracting childish rivalry evolve into a distracting childish courtship and now into what I'm sure will be a distracting childish marriage. <sighs> oh my God, you're awake. And speak to me. I want to feel you. I can't believe I'm hearing your voice. I know, it's so amazing. I know that when things are hard, I talk them through with Amy. And just being with her, looking into her eyes, everything that seems so complicated becomes simple. We'll figure all that stuff out. How can you be so sure? I just know. Everyone's gonna be so shocked when they find out the big surprise that I'm leaving the 99. What did you just say? Yeah. Amy's just the worst, and she thinks she's so smart and so pretty, and she makes me feel good about the world and my place in it. The only thing that kept me sane was planning for the Halloween heist those many years doing hard time. I'll wait for you, and I'll keep fighting for you, and so will everyone at the 99. We'll do whatever it takes. Keeps me trusting. You are the I love Amy Santiago! We're gonna take each other's names! All I care about is what's best for our family. And Ames, this is it. And I don't care if I get demoted. I just care about being with you. And how can I stand here with you? And you're right. I'm not over her. Would you tell me? It's hard not to say a really corny thing right now about how every day is a honeymoon with you. You really think you'll be happy? I don't want you to give up your dream job just for me. I have a new dream job now. Trust me, I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. I'm talking to you. I may never have the mantle, but it doesn't matter, because I have you. You hold me in your hands. You know I would you do anything for you. I would do anything for you too. We share a marital bed. Yeah. <laughs> That's my future wife. And you take my breath. You look beautiful. Would you take me in? I love you just so much. Oh, I love you so much too. I just realized we haven't been alone without Mac for like three months. Desk? Yeah, let's do it. I guess we really can't do it all. I don't know. I mean, you got to do the work thing, and I got to do the parent thing, so together, we could do it all. We did it, Ames. I love you. I love you too. Must been a hard decision. Honestly, it wasn't. What do you mean you're leaving? I mean, that's what I want to do. But only if you agree. I don't understand. Well, for weeks we've been trying to figure out how you can do your new job and still have us be there for Mac as much as we want. And I really think this is it. Yeah, but we have other options. Yeah. But I think this is the best one. Look, you know I was scared about having kids because I didn't want to be like my dad. But if I do this, I have a chance to be the exact opposite. And I don't want Mac to ever feel the way I felt growing up. And I get that. I really do. But you love being a detective. I know. It's all I ever wanted to be. Until now. I mean, you've earned this incredible opportunity. You can't do it halfway. It's too important. And Max my little buddy. I want to be at home with him. It has three tiny taps. One for me, one for you, and one for me. So, we're good?
Yeah, we're good. Life is unpredictable. Not everything's in our control, but as long as you're with the right people, you can handle anything. And you, Jake Peralta, are the right person for me. Would you tell me how could it be? No matter what happens, you're not allowed to fall in love with me. Won't be a problem. <laughs>